A job interview is not just the test of your knowledge, but your ability to use it at the right time. During a data science interview, you come across a host of questions on data science, machine learning, artificial intelligence, along with testing your communication and interpersonal skills. So to help you with your data science interview preparation, we have for you top 10 most frequently asked questions during data science interviews. So let's get started. The most commonly asked question is what is data science? How do supervised and unsupervised machine learning differ from each other? Data science is a study of data which involves collection of data from various sources, storing it, cleaning it, organizing it, and analyzing it to gain meaningful insights from it. Data science is a combination of various techniques like statistics, machine learning, data visualization, computer science, cluster analysis, and data modeling. This field helps in gaining some useful insights from any form of data, structured or unstructured. These insights can help us in making business decisions and strategies to influence our business positively. Now let's come to the difference between supervised versus unsupervised machine learning. Supervised machine learning input data is labeled. In unsupervised machine learning, input data is not labeled. Supervised ML uses the training data set. Unsupervised ML uses the input data set. Supervised ML is used for prediction purpose. However, unsupervised ML is used for analysis purpose. Supervised ML is divided into classification and regression. However, unsupervised ML is divided into classification, dimension reduction, clustering, and density estimation. Next question is, what is confusion matrix? A confusion matrix is a 2 by 2 table which contains 4 outputs provided by a binary classifier. This matrix describes the performance of a classification model on a set of test data for which the true values are known. Various measures such as error rate, accuracy, specificity, sensitivity, precision and recall are derived from it. Let's say we have to predict the presence of a disease in form of yes or no. A binary classifier predicts all the data instances as either positive or negative. There are four outcomes produced. True positive. These are cases in which we predicted yes, they have the disease and they actually do have the disease. False positive. We predicted yes, they have the disease but they don't actually have the disease, also known as type 1 error. True negative. We predicted no, they do not have the disease and they don't have the disease. False negative. We predicted no, they do not have the disease but they actually do have the disease, also known as type 2 error. What are the various classification algorithms? Some major classification algorithms are linear classifiers like logistic regression and knife-based classifier. Decision tree classifier, random forest classifier, support vector machines, kernel estimation, neural networks, k nearest neighbor. What is normal distribution? When the data is distributed around the central value without any bias to either side, left or right, it attains a normal distribution with a bell shaped curve. This curve depicts the distribution of random variables in form of a symmetrical bell-shaped curve. What is ROC-AUC curve? AUC-ROC curve is a performance measurement for classification problem at various threshold settings. ROC is a probability curve and AUC represent degree or measure of separability. It tells how much model is capable of distinguishing between classes. 
higher the AUC, better the model is at predicting zeros as zeros and ones as ones. By analogy, higher the AUC, better the model is at distinguishing between patients and diseases and no diseases. What is linear regression? What are the assumptions of linear regression? This is an ML algorithm used for predictive analysis. In this method, the score of a variable, say B, is predicted from the score of another variable, say A. Here, A is an independent variable, while B is a dependent variable. There are four major assumptions of linear regression algorithm. A linear relationship exists between the dependent variables and the target variable. The residuals of the data are independent of one another and to be distributed. There is minimal collinearity between explanatory variables. There is homoscedasticity, which means that the variance around the regression line is the same for all values of the predictor variable. What is artificial neural network? ANN refers to a system designed after the human brain. ANNs are composed of numerous simple processing elements known as artificial neurons. ANNs learn through experience and adapt through the changing input so that the network can generate the best possible result. What is knife in knife base classifier? This algorithm is based on the Bayes theorem which describes the probability of an event based on prior knowledge of conditions that might be related to the event. What is knife? The algorithm is knife because it makes assumptions that may or may not turn out to be correct. Explain gradient descent. This is made up of two concepts, gradient and descent. Gradient is a measure of how much the output of a particular function changes in relation to a minor change in the inputs. It measures the changes in all weights in response to a change in error. Gradient descent is an optimization technique that helps in finding the values of coefficients of a function that minimizes a cost function. What is the difference between machine learning and deep learning? Machine learning. It is a field of computer science that gives computers the ability to learn without being explicitly programmed. Machine learning can be categorized in following three categories. Supervised machine learning. Unsupervised machine learning. Reinforcement learning. Deep learning is a subset of machine learning concerned with algorithms inspired by the structure and function of the brain called artificial neural networks. We hope this video helped you to land a job. We wish you all the best in your data science journey.